one time, mm-hmm. brother, what's your name? Mm-hmm. Troy. Troy. Okay. How long y'all two? Um, well, we've known each other since kids, a little kid. <laughs> I'm like. Almost two years. Oh, you be married? Brand new. Mm-hmm. You engaged, okay. Brand new. Uh, mm-hmm. Me too. Okay. Shout out to you. I'm engaged Thank as well. You. I don't want to say how long we've been revealing our age. A long. Engaged two years, together six years, and yeah, knew each other for a lifetime. Mm. Played in, literally played in the sandbox together. They say wow. you literally know, played in the sandbox. They say That's you know the stuff. person you're gonna marry by the time you're 25. You've already met the person. It's goddamn lie. <laughs> Goddamn lie. <laughs> it's a lie. You see? <laughs> that might apply see? to y'all. I still don't I didn't, apply to nobody else. I, I didn't I, see I, us I, coming. I <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's the yeah, issue. I'm still like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, probably looking, you're probably looking over her. She's probably right <laughs> there. You're probably looking right past it. Meanwhile, she's been probably looking right forever. past her. You're probably looking right so past her. So she's short. That's what you say. It could be. You looking at tall chicks? See how fast that happened? She's probably right there. Man, that's bullshit. Probably I'm just, right there. Bullshit. The the woman, the person, they say you've met the person you can and probably should marry by the time you're 25. So you already know them. I definitely you, even know if they're not that. romantically, not me. <laughs> even if they're not, even if you're not romantic with them, you've met them already. Yo, met them already. I so introduced rolling, right? him to the entire world as my brother. I didn't had to spend the past two years circling back, like so. So, remember, so, so the guy that I, yeah, yeah, this is not really my brother. Like, how are you engaged? Not my soul brother. You know what I mean? Engaged, congratulations. He's your brother. I wish the camera was on right now, it fellas. Is. When it they is. say bro, it when is. they say that's my brother, oh. remember, oh. right Yo. there. Our, That's your replacement. Our exes right now? <laughs> yo, our exes is looking at us Sick. so crazy right now. Like, so. All that time? So, the motherfucker time. that we were smoking with. Is it your, your brother? Came to the cookout, <laughs> was holding the baby, all this stuff. He's like, no, nah, nah, for real. See? <laughs> yeah. 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 Your uh, replacement yeah, is one, closer One of my exes had a male best friend. I broke up with ass. I wish like, you going to do this, man. Shit. Fight me. Yeah, that's bestie. Uh, bestie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Peace to you and bestie. <laughs> Later. <laughs> my here. Yeah. So I from now on, when she say that's my bro, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. your replacement. Or, or my know. cousin. Or my cousin. Just know that's but, your but replacement. But no, but in our head, it really be bro. Nah. <laughs> in our head. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Look, in the women's head, it really be bro. Oh. Was it bro? Was it bro, bro? That's how they keep you with them, but without the attachment. Oh, all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, keep, you, you keep it real. You tried it a couple times over the years. No, no. My man wait, put wait, his finger wait. in his head. I'm like, you did? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, see, she be going over my head. See? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> she be going over my head. Meanwhile, like, your man was telling you, yo, <laughs> this nigga's trying it. And you sat there and played. Yo, he ain't trying yeah, nothing. Like, he's yeah. like my brother. See, so yeah. many arguments. This is why I don't play that so shit. So many man. arguments. I'm like, yo, that is the last person on earth you got to worry about. Meanwhile. Listen, listen. <laughs> Meanwhile, my, my, my future wife, <laughs> my, my future wife is going to do a movie about our relationship, and it's going to be called The Last Homeboy. Meanwhile, everybody got their ringers off. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me make sure mine. Oh, y'all yeah, don't even know we started already. What's Chastity? She said she, she stepped out. She wasn't coming back in for a while. Uh, so we don't need the rules. Let's just kick it. Yeah, I guess we don't. Yeah. All right, we back. Right. My expert opinion: the greatest show in the world, 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 world. world, world, world. Like I do that. You like that? <laughs> Yo, it's Cinco de Mayo. I usually don't say like the days because you know 
given the schedule on when these things are coming out. But I just want to say, you know, if you celebrate Cinco de Mayo, you know, for all our, our, our um, his, his, uh, what's Latin, the proper term? Latin, 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 right. Latin. Almost, <laughs> Latin, almost got sued by somebody. So all the Latinos, y'all be, be careful. To all the Latinos, you know, everybody out there that's celebrating and all the people that's just getting drunk because they feel like that's what they're supposed to do, do that. And to to those that actually celebrate the day and are, um, you know, paying tribute to to their, their loved ones that passed away, shout out to you and, you know, enjoy the day. I'm actually doing both. Today is single day Mayo and today is my father's birthday. He's he passed away. Wow. So oh. you're actually celebrating. Yep. Happy wow. birthday That's to your father's birthday. Go. Go. My Sloop. condolences Sloop. and Sloop. happy birthday. Peace. Yeah. You know, you never yeah. know. You, you could be in a room right now, like, oh I got a shout out on Math Show. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh hit that like, hit that share, let everybody know you in here. Don't cost you no pay paper unless you was a mother. Hater, 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 hater. 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 Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. You know you got your own theme music. We here. Salute, King. Meg was good. Everything. Um, just God. Cool. Cool. I'm with that. I'm done. I wanted to talk to you about something off air, but since the cameras is rolling and. You know, these people really want to know what our real life is like. Don't be shouting out no more rappers in here, because I feel like you're getting a check for some of these shits, and you ain't giving me my PC, my nigga. I'm find <laughs> out. We'll find out. We'll find out. We will find out. You shouted out somebody I checked out, and I was like, yeah, why are you shouting him out? We, discuss, we, discussed this, we discussed this early on, and you forgot. What's that? You can't pay me enough to shout you out, because I'll tell you you're broke and whack for free. Oh shit! Okay, I'll tell you, you suck for free. Right <laughs> I'd still like a little look at the cash app before you walk in. <laughs> Have yeah. a look. But yeah, I mean. you can't, you can't, you can't pay me to say something's dope. Okay. Or like ever, even when I, when, in every professional capacity I've ever been in, if I thought it was dope, I said so. If I thought it was whack, I said so. Mm. You can't pay me enough to shut me up to say, and not tell you it's trash, and you can't pay me enough to tell you that it's dope. If I think it's dope, I'm gonna say something. If I think it's whack, I'm gonna say something. I'm the same way. So you got me started. Right? You, you actually. Y'all can send me them cash apps too. <laughs> you to blame. You to blame for that. To be honest. We got Super Bro in the building. <laughs> we gonna skip past that. Get past that. We, we gonna get to that later. We gonna get to that. My man Piff James is in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Piff, what up, James. man? What up? What up? We've been running into each other for fucking years, bro. Hey. Right, yeah, word. We gotta do something. Facts, facts. We gotta make something happen. Facts, always, always. Chant. What's going on, my brother? I want to say, uh, real briefly. Sometimes we make mistakes in life, and that's due to rash decision making, right? Yeah, I'm talking about something between me and Matt Hoffa. So I made a rash decision mm -hmm. um, a few days ago mm -hmm. um, because I'm so used to being on the go and running around and just moving at the, the, the sound of my own horn. Word. And I backed but him I'm down not, today. I was he like, did yo, not what back you doing? anything down. <laughs> I was like, yo, what you okay, doing? So I wouldn't be here. Right? <laughs> but I, I wanted to say on camera that I am a man. I make mistakes, and I am a person who's willing to apologize. Mm -hmm. For, my, for the mistakes I made, whether it's in front of people, behind, off camera, it doesn't matter. If I fucked up, I can account for that. So I wanted to apologize to you for that error, my brother. I love you, Chef. Clap, David, clap. Put your hands in there. Yeah. We don't see that enough. And if it happened more often, maybe. <laughs> That's yeah. what real men do. Yeah. That's right. That's what real men do. You heard? See, apologize. You know, when you, when you make a mistake, apologize. No one cares about the excuses. Facts. Now, tonight in the building, um, in the current, you know, state state of the game, we have state of the culture. Part of it. It's not a game. We have so many female MCs on the rise. Rappers and MCs, because there's a difference. Now, as far as paving the way for the female MC 
This is one of the pioneers. One of the people that when you heard back in the days, she was like, yo, shorty got bars. She's going in. Yo, I think she smoked everybody on the track. Mm -hmm. Y'all know who I'm talking to, talking about. There's not many people that can fit in that category. Mm -hmm. nice. Flip mode is a squad, Rod Diggers in the back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Dirty Harry. Word. Word. What up, gentlemen? I'm really chilling. You yeah, like a Sunday morning cooling yeah. on the other side of the pillow. Yeah, man. It's See? been a long been a minute coming. I'm, I'm glad we got it done. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad we got it done before it got too hot. <laughs> I told you, I was like, look, we got it. We cannot put this off any longer, all right? The summer body is still in the mail. We need my, we need my coat and my wings. <laughs> she got the collar off. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> little, little, take it a little, you know, take it a little longer to share some of that quarantine. Wait, hey, life yeah. is good, man. What can I say? I'm, I'm getting these legacy coins. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, I mean, is that a is that like a pressure for female rappers? Like, oh, I gotta make sure. Because um, we because we got Lizzo out here. It now, yeah. it can be if you put yourself in that box. Right. You know, like I I was I was fortunate enough to put the you know to put the onus on my bars. Right. Mm -hmm. So everything else was secondary, whereas, and not for nothing, it wasn't really uh, so much of a focus on image. Like, I got to, you know, without telling my age, but um, mm -hmm. I really studied uh, the MC Lights, the... No, I don't know who he is. Shouldn't be knocking on the door, though. Oh, is he talking about, he's not talking about parking. He's, he's asking about, he's asking about your car, champ. Oh, we'll see about that, that. That's yeah, that, okay. It might be blocking them. Yeah, yeah. So unlock it. Bang, bang. Yeah. So oh, I'm shit. studying. You know, I'm studying Shantae. I'm studying Latifah. I'm studying MC Light. Like there wasn't a, a big emphasis on fashion like that. Right. I. And that's what, you know, that's where my focus was, just the bars, like competing with the guys. Like all of these women were challenging the men. So that was, for, to me, that's what hip hop signified. By the time I actually got on and popping, the whole game done shifted. Now you got little Kim walking in with a titty out. No. And like, How the hell am I supposed to compete with that? <laughs> she got one titty out, dog. Come she on. got a titty out. Meanwhile, I'm over here, 99 pounds, soaking wet. I ain't got no booty. So I'm just like, all right, well. Fuck it. All right, my whole rhymes. <laughs> and what? <laughs> you know, like that was, you know, that was yeah. the thing that I uh, had to scream from the rafters to, you know, to, right. to to get my to get my stain, and and you know, it was it was it was dope. It was definitely, right. it was definitely a a fun time. Yeah. In, in hip hop, if, yeah. if anybody you know got to experience like '90s hip hop at its pinnacle, yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, that was that was a good time. What, what would you say were some of your best best memories of that time? Some of my best, besides Lil Kim with a titty out. <laughs> that was definitely Yo, one she of my... scarred me for life. I love her. <laughs> that is my <laughs> sister, but she scarred. No, I was scarred for life. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> What can I do to match that? God damn it. Not just one titty out, but Diana Ross actually bounced <laughs> and it. And you got Diana like, yeah, Ross? Like, oh, like, my goodness. Diana Ross actually gave it a little, like... Shouts <laughs> out to Kimmy Blanco. That's my baby. Yeah. Um, ooh, some of my fondest memories. So, okay, my promo tour. Uh, this is the promo tour leading up to Dirty Harriet. I'm the opening act for the Cash Money Rough Riders tour. Wow. Mm. So that was, uh, that, was epic. that those were good times. Those were good times. Shouts out to Lil Wayne, yo. Yeah. That yo, mm. that dude was really like I I remember him coming up to me, like, yeah, you know, I know you opening that. Now mind you, he's Wayne, like he's a star. He's not coming out for like another two, three hours. And mm -hmm. and he came and, and was like, yo, you know, just good luck with your show. Woo woo woo. I'm like, yo, that's that's it's a good brother right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, meeting meeting genuine people, um, I feel like once I 
when when I when you come into the game, uh, the industry, it's not mm -hmm. a game. Mm -hmm. um, every you 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 kind of think of everybody, look at everybody as the ops right. until you meet them. Right. Like once you meet them and realize, like, yo, we actually have way more commonalities than mm -hmm. than differences. Um, right. I think that was kind of like a turning point for me, like as far as just my whole outlook on mm -hmm. on the culture and the industry. Period. Now, of course, you you know you got your your phonies, your fakes, your frauds yeah, that yeah. come with people, any. Oh yeah, let's do that. that. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. word, we, we gonna get on the record. Yeah, yeah. Like, we gotta do a joint. Yo, let's work, son. You'll never, never that, see, see that again. person again. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all of that. Yeah, I, I know. I know you're scared to get on the record. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, right. I know. I know. I know. Right. But um, I who, think who was the ops? Who was the everybody was the ops? Just everybody. Men and women. I mean, okay, so when I say ops, mm -hmm. I just meant like competition. Competition, yeah, exactly. Right. Everybody was competition. Everybody was fair game. Anybody could be used as a punchline at any moment. Like, mm -hmm. you know, nobody was off the table. Mm -hmm. right. And then you meet them, it's like, oh, I like them. I can't say that. All right. Yeah. Couple of people, I was like, oh, I gotta change yeah, this I gotta line. Change I can't. Line. They cool as hell. Yeah. I'm gonna change that line. But. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just, you know, I just wanted to be known as the best MC. Like, that was, and that was just something from really being young and, and just watching how all of the, the people before me did it. Everybody was battling. It was just battle, battle, battle. Shantae was battling. Like, MC Light was battling mm -hmm. Antoinette. Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's all I knew. Your crew yeah. was battling. Yeah, I'm like, we were battling. Yeah. Now, now, see, now battling of yesteryears ain't the same as battling today. Right battling wow. of yesteryears was who got the most verses. We we get in the cypher. You rap, I rap. You rap, I rap. You rap, I rap. rap, you, rap, rap, I rap. rap. you ain't got no more verses? Bye. <laughs> I won. <laughs> like, that was battling. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that right, was battling back right. then. Yeah, now y'all got something else going yeah, on. But it's different. Shout out and rest in peace to Slang Tongue. Yes, because he actually won the Blaze Battle. He won. He was actually one of on, the the, the only first, outside of he... the uh, to to win a Blaze Battle. Mm -hmm. At one of the Blaze Battles, um, Z and Pace had to battle each other, and they both got disqualified because they wouldn't stop laughing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> for, those, for those who don't know. Z Pace One, Young Z Pace One, yes. were members of your original crew. Jersey Pace crew, the crew. Outsiders. Outsiders. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, out, wait, wait, wait. Eminem was time. also part of Eminem that. Eminem was a member. Eminem came from, uh, well, uh, Pace linked up with Bizarre mm -hmm. in Detroit. And then once they started coming to Jersey, uh, Eminem came out and, and when he was doing his please listen to my demo journey right. in New York, mm -hmm. you know, he had the outsiders there to hold him down. Cause back then white rappers wasn't cool really. Like right. if you wasn't MC Search and I'm like, who, who are you? And shout out to Search. And yeah. he and, yeah. and he was a different kind. Like he wasn't, you know, he wasn't really talking that that nigga shit. He was on his quirky, cool. you know, he always yeah. was on that, you know, trailer trash and that like that. So mm -hmm. It wasn't really clicking with the, yeah. you know, with the hood like that. And yeah. but he had, but he always had bars. Like he, he was mm -hmm. always that. Yeah. And so whenever he had to make his, you know, his real rounds, like we doing uh, Wu Tang Park Hill Day, you know, mm -hmm. Eminem, that was like the outsiders is there with you. So, mm -hmm. so but yeah. How did you start with that crew? Let's should we start from the beginning? How did I start with yeah. the outs? Oh, yeah. let's. Oh, okay. Funny story. I had another uh, rap partner at the time named Chia. We were twice the flavor. We were signed to Das Effects. Wow. Oh, yeah. My, my story goes. Oh, damn. wow. We just go what? Skiggity bump. And how, how old how old? I you am. <laughs> so I'm a teenager. I'm about, nine, I'm about 19. Mm -hmm. Signed to Das Effects. Yep. Twice the flavor. Twice the flavor. Rashi right. and Kachia signed to. Uh, well, and at the time, my rap name was Rod Diggity. I was Rod Diggity. Well, I don't do it. Of course. That's what I was Rod Diggity. I was Rod Diggity. You had to be there. Yeah, they had to be there, right? They went platinum. Shut your mouth before you even laugh. Stop playing. We used to put get the braid. We used to put the braids in the ponytail and, you know, emulate them. But 
we but we didn't rap like that uh. um so we were uh partners and one day we on the bus we on we on the jersey transit bus we heading downtown me and my partner young z is on the bus he got a walkman on he nodding his head like crazy he going crazy mm -hmm. and me and uh my partner we we lit we just looking at him cracking up like yo this nigga kind of look like pete rock don't he <laughs> so we just looking at him going crazy nodding his head he take off his headphones like what's like what's so funny we like, man, we just trip out. And then, you know, then we, hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Somehow we ended up disclosing to him that we had weed. <laughs> he would not <laughs> stop following us at that point. <laughs> we trying to get, we trying to shake him. Oh, <laughs> he wow. like, we out, so let's park, let's park. Yeah. So finally we shake him. We running around downtown North doing our thing. We go to Lady Foot Locker, all this other, we doing the, doing our thing, right. um, we get back on the bus. He back on the bus. <laughs> now he got his boy, D.U. Shouts out to you. Mm -hmm. He got his boy. We like, oh, damn, you again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we was like, you know what, fuck it. It must be, it must be meant to be. Let's, right. let's, let's kick it and shit. We like, all right, we got the smoke. Y'all gonna stop to the liquor store. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We, um, so we went back to her house. And we like, yeah, we rap. I don't, I don't, they didn't believe us. We like, y'all rap. Yeah. All right. And right. Uh, so then we push play on the demo. Mm -hmm. And now I'm lifted. I don't even think I was rapping my own words. Like I'm I'm one of the type of people, like I smoke, I just get real mellow and quiet. And um, and she's the opposite of me. She's super animated. Mm -hmm. She right. she actually was Nicki Minaj before Nicki Minaj, like with the like she wow. definitely yeah, like that. Know. She had that that voice, that that you know that character right. animated that rap. Like, it up and all yeah, that, that yeah. was her bag, and I was deep voice, you know. Mm -hmm. So she was doing all the rapping, and everybody like, yo, you know, she got it. They don't even know that my rhyme, you know, she said she's mouthing my rhymes too. Right. Mm. So when they finally realized, like, I was the one kind of rapping like the dude, because <laughs> I yeah. always had that, you know, that deep, deep rugged, tone. harsh. They like, yeah. oh, that's you? Oh, wow. Okay. And um, and from that point, I just started kind of like gravitating to the guys, because I, I, I always like, you know, I always like the competitiveness of, of rhyming with dudes. Right. Whereas she would see, she's the type of person that like to be around mad females. Like she got mm -hmm. like 101 bitches. I don't fuck with bitches like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, shouts out to the handful I do got, but I'm just not one of them that like a lot of girls would be like, okay, you fuck her baby daddy. Like I just, yeah, yo, you got all that going on over there in your <laughs> circle. Right. My circle over here, we smoking and we get into the, the, the bars. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so from there, I, I start doing things. I start doing more and more things with them. My partner and I, and then I actually started dating. In the process of that, I started dating Young Z. Right, um, the guy from the bus. <laughs> from the top, the guy from the bus. Yeah. She tried to duck. Yep, right. yep. She started right. off making fun of him. Right. tried to duck. Yep. Yep. Right. Look, 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 look. Yep. Right. Yep. Meanwhile. Okay. And, um, and from there, we just like, you know, as the as the outsiders grew, like we literally, like we literally every day would get up, we would link up and just walk around Essex County. Like, who's gonna battle? Who's gonna battle? Who, you rat? You rat? Let's go. Like this was our mm. this was our everyday occurrence. Like, I right, it's five of us. You got a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's a nickel bag of weed. We need another dollar for the. Dust. I mean, you know, we 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 in the mud. That's how it was. And. Um, <laughs> And wow. we would, and that's actually how we even ended up on the, the Fuji's album, the score. Well, actually, take that back. By that point, by the time we got to the school, uh, we had a crew deal. Hmm. We had a, we had an outsider deal with uh, uh with Rough House. Hmm. Um, all right, all right. Before you go, I know. Am I, am I skipping? I, I, I was getting all these record deals. So. <laughs> 
Uh, that was number. That's number four. She just. Yeah, but that's this is the first one. Yeah, no, this no, the first this, one. No, be, well, okay. So being being signed to Das Effects, tra- translation, y'all gonna pay for our studio time, and oh, you, right. you know, right, cool, cool, yeah, cool. that wasn't like a that wasn't a deal, deal. Okay, but that cool. was okay. We're going to fund produce, your shit. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. right and right. put your put your shit. Out. It's even right. funny how we got with Das Effects. So I'm gonna go backwards some more. Mm-hmm. Um, we would call around studios to see who's working in the studio. See, now they don't they don't disclose that information, but back then they'll tell you. Right. Like, yeah, we would we would say, we would call like, um, yeah, we're looking for Eric Sermon. Uh Eric Sermon's not in tonight. Tonight it's only uh just Das Effects is gonna be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's weird. So we would we you know, we would find out who's in the stew. Um, and we would just call and somehow I got a, somehow, some way I got crazy Drazy beeper number. Now this, 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 look, this is why we going back. I got, I got, uh, crazy Drazy. I got crazy Drazy (laughs) beeper number. We just beeping him, beeping him, beeping him. He calling back like, who are you? Like, yo, can we send you a demo? We sent the first demo with three songs. They ain't get a call back. Sent the second song with three demos and get a call back. I mean, uh, second, second demo, demo with three, with three songs, songs. Yeah. Sent the third demo. That that now that demo was lit. <laughs> that one was dope. We right. had a song called Hard to Kill. We had no title, no hook. And back then, not having a hook was unheard of. So we we did a we did a song where we just straight bars, bars. no hook. Mm-hmm. They like yo, all right. And then and then they eventually called the car for us and met us and and you know we. Performed our demo for him was like, all right, this. So that's that's how we ended up with Das Effects. Who was the leading y'all? Like, was there parents? Was there like who? <laughs> well, well, yeah, we're, we're, I'm like, you know, who you? Yeah. we're 1920 at this time, and this is the this is the time when parents is like, okay, that rap is cool, but I'm gonna need you to finish college. I'm gonna need you to, right. you know, put on your suit. You, Grow get, you up. know, right. go, yeah, you go door to door filling out applications. Like, this is what parents thought you was doing. I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm gonna look for a job. In real life, I'm going to battle the everybody in the hood oh, or battle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like that was my that was my going door to door. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. And um, so that's how I ended up with Das Effects. Um, we ultimately, my partner and I, we ultimately split up because we, you know, we just grew apart. Now, you know, now I got a boyfriend. It's like the boyfriend is not getting along with the best friend, you know, with the girl best friend. Yeah, because y'all was just ranking on him on the bus. Yeah, like, yeah. and now it's like, I don't want, I don't want to hang with y'all. I want to hang with them. And, you know, it, that that happened. We, yeah. we. We ultimately grew apart, but I mean, it's it's all love. Like that's my sister. Like we to this we, day. We, we to this day. Oh, good. We speak wow. every good, good. every day. To good, this day, good. we wow. speak. No, no. I'm I'm a one thing about me. You know, if you in my life, you know, you got me for life. Like you, we. I'm a I'm a very loyal friend. Mm-hmm. Like even after you've pissed off the rest of the world, if you solid with me, I'm gonna hold you down. Mm-hmm. You know, until you cross me, you you got a friend in me. Mm-hmm. So we no, we're good. Um, it was you know, it was an amicable split. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it, maybe young in our feelings, like hey, 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 hey. Did you say, did stuff. you say I want my rhymes back? <laughs> oh, no. oh no, no, no. She definitely she 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 wrote her own rhymes. I wrote my own rhymes. Okay. I uh you know, that was we just had a we 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 had those uh, separate styles, though. No, she she was really good with 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 that, like that that personality and that that tone switch. Like, I, she, I, did she keep going? She did not. Mm. She did not. I would have. I mean, she she did. She let me hear a couple of songs. She you know she did since uh, we separated, but mm. they she didn't you know she didn't stay on the she track. She didn't push. Right. right. She didn't push. Was it one of those situations where she was motivated? Voted- Motivated by you? Um, you know, we we talked about it like years, years later. She was scared. She, I, I, don't, I don't. She, she, you know, she told me that she wasn't. 
she knew that she wasn't going for it the way I was going for it. Like I was going mm. for it. Like I was. Yeah, he was calling up studios. Like yeah, Eric. So like I, I, like I was. You know, I mean, and we and we bat we were battling each other. Too. We did a show. I'm trying to think, we did a we did a showcase. We beat out Smooth the Hustler and Trigger the Gambler. Holy and, um, shit! I've got as you sure. know as a yeah. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, Jay, hey, Smooth. <laughs> uh, wow. Smooth Trigger, wow. they broke your language. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. They gonna be like, what the fuck she talking about? I don't remember that. You remember? <laughs> no, but but see, wow. but that was a you know that was a showcase, first place, second place. But we we yeah. got first place in that. I mean, we were, you know, we were a force to be reckoned with, and. We get down with the hit squad right as they're breaking up. So, so wow. check it. So you got you got Keith Murray, you got K Solo, Red you got Redman Red over here Red. with with Eric, and we on we we on Parish and and Dos Effects. We like. <laughs> and, and Red was the homie from Jersey, you right. know. Red was the big homie. It was like, how we get on this side? Of <laughs> oh man, word. Oh, that's did, you, crazy. did y'all ever do any records with Das Effect when you was working with them? Uh early, early, and we uh, and we used their producers, uh, Solid, Solid Skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, look at you. <laughs> a Blitz and uh Yes, A Blitz was my um was my manager. He right. he was actually Dos Effects road manager. Mm -hmm. So when I separated from my partner, he uh at the same time was was uh parting ways with Dos Effects. So he became my longtime solo manager. Mm -hmm. And you know, Blitz and I, we just you know, beat these streets together. I mean, back then you had to be in Brooklyn really to to do anything, mm -hmm. have anything going on hip hop. So I was hopping the subway every day to Fulton and St. James where he lived. Or mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, unbeknownst to me, this is Biggie's block, but mm -hmm. I, I mean, I heard, you know, Biggie yeah. live in that house right there, but I'm, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm on my way to meet up with my manager. And then we would go to see Ski from, uh, Rock a block. Shouts yeah. out. Shouts out, out Ski. Shouts Yo, Ski produced uh as a solo artist, he he produced my whole demo. The my first single, Tight, that is now produced by the B minus, as mm. the demo version of it was produced mm. by Ski. Ski. Wow. Mm. Wow. He produced that um joint for Pace. Yeah. Well, I declare well, war. Pace Pace was signed to Ski. Uh, rock a block. Yes. Okay. Pace was signed to ski. Rock. Pace was signed to ski. Um, shit, we. Uh, there was a point in time where everybody had solo deals and we had a crew deal because mm -hmm. we had our we had our we had our crew deal with uh, Rough House. Um, Z was signed to Perspective, and then uh, Pace signed to Rock a Block, and then Eminem and I both got our deals at the same time. I signed to Electra with Q-Tip at the same time. Mm -hmm. He signed to, to Interscope. To Interscope, cool. right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were lit. And we was, you know, <laughs> we, we were, uh, you know, we was milking each other label like, yo, I'm going to send this invoice, right? You charge 30 grand for a hook. And then, you know, <laughs> and we just, you know, it's like us, we just crew, but right, you right. know, we, we was, uh, we was. You made it happen. Though. We was raping each other <laughs> and shit. There's, there's no other way, yo, it's no other way to put it. We were raping each other's labels. I'm sorry, I'm not word. I know that's a trigger word, but right. yeah, we, we were killing each other's labels and, and yeah, we did that shit. Wow. <laughs> well, as long as we could. <laughs> so, so after after Das Effects breaks up, is that when you moved over to his squad or you went and started, you know, No, his squad with, broke up. No, his squad, no, no. His squad broke yeah, up. Yeah, his squad broke up. But you already was done with Das Effects. I, I, no, I was, I was signed. We were just getting to Das Effects. Okay, right. Like we like official on paper. Right, right. Um, When that breakup happened, when that broke up happened. So when did the introduction to the Fujis happen? So that happened because Z 
after after the after the crew was no longer a part of uh, Rough House, he ended up getting a solo situation there as well. And he was the opening act for the Fugees. Mm. And when they were promoing the Score album, the, the, going on a tour run, he was their opening act. Mm -hmm. Like he's actually the person uh, uh, initially that was doing the one time for Killing Me Softly. Wow. Mm. Uh, Lauren, the very first singing appearance she ever made was on his album. Wow. That that wow. uh came out. So, wow. you know, there's a there's a lot of history with the outsiders in the Fuji's and, wow. and we just, you know, <laughs> people's people's like that. They might be the only crew in Jersey that we didn't technically battle. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't battle a guitar player. Fuck it. <laughs> We're gonna do a song together. No, Clef Clef went to smoke. But no, no, no. Hell, oh, yes, he is. Yes, yeah. they are. I mean, you know, we we we're like minded. We're like minded artists. Like I, everybody from Jersey is with the smoke. Mm -hmm. Na name, ready, a, name a Jersey MC you met that wasn't with the smoke. We don't be giving a shit. You know, I'm gonna tell That's you where true. that come. You know where that come from, though. Well, that comes from the complex you have being next to New York. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That is that. I lived in Newark for a bunch of years. Yes, and and, you and, just and heard I bet you over and, and over. No, I, I I used to have to, I used to be knocking people off because they found out I'm from New York, and it was all. Now, a girl. How would they find out? Would you be like, I'm from the real New York? No, I. <laughs> 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 no, it was it was where you where you going? I'm going home. Jersey was never home, so when they right. said I'm going home for the weekend, I mean I'm going to New York, and then it got out and it got around that I was from New York. And that all of a sudden became a problem. Now girls will walk up to you and say, you think, you look like you think you cute. <laughs> it's that same thing. Like, you, you look like you think you, like you think you tough. Because I was from New York, it was a yeah. problem. And it was always like this little complex that people from New York How had. many rappers you come across and like, yo man, because you know New York rappers, they all, they be fronting on a show, they be stuck. That happens now. Yes, <laughs> we yes. Get, we get yeah, new, right. we get yeah, that it's, now. It's a, I'll be out talking about that. Exactly. Yeah, we get yeah. that now, like right yeah. now. That yeah. still happens. Like it's and it's been going on for decades. Like but why? We, what is it about Jersey that, that well they just don't feel recognized? I don't get it. I don't, it you know that's what, because you recognize Jersey for what it is. You you we're not of the era that fronted on New Jersey. Who it's, front, it's not so it's, who, it was the era before era. So, us. So well well, okay, so hip hop is notably uh, originated in the Bronx mm -hmm. and there was a time when like I bet you if you if you talk to any rapper that's not from New York they'll tell you they always felt like New York fronted on them like there was there was an air with New York rappers that if you was not from New York, you was whack. Mm -hmm. It was almost like you didn't even have to be fresh. All you had to be, all you had to do was be from New York. New York. Like mm -hmm. you could say I'm from New York and like, you won the battle. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm really? from New York. It, there was, there was That's a- That's stuff. There, I always thought it was a street thing. I thought it was cause New York niggas was in everybody town. You know, it, it bled over. Yeah. It, it wasn't just one thing, but hip hop wise. Well, 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 hip hop, hip hop wise, I I think that I, I would say maybe it was like the big bro, little bro complex. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So Jersey rappers felt like we had like we didn't have our own radio station. It's like we had to come to New York yeah, to get everything yeah. popping. Right. So there was a, you know, a, a, I would say maybe like a, an inferiority complex like, oh, y'all think y'all better than you're from New York. So there was so in our heads, it's like, I got to be extra nice, mm -hmm. extra nicer than this New to York. To be recognized. Bitch. Yeah, but but it was but it was a us thing. Right. I don't know if it was. I blame the radio. I blame the radio. I don't think it. Yeah, like I don't I think it was radio. so much. Who? I don't. Not 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 one specific DJ, but think about it like this: It's hip hop radio stations, right? Back in back then, hip hop radio stations, and they shout out every borough, and they never shout out Jersey, or they shout out Jersey Ooh. last, and you're in yeah, Jersey. Hot ninety seven always shout out. Jersey. Hot ninety seven right. is fairly new. I'm talking about. 
BLS. 107.5? I'm talking about WBLS. It was Alert, always like, about New York. It, it was, was all it was, New it York. It was Queens, Bridge versus the yes. Bronx. It was Brooklyn. It was, we're in Brooklyn. It was just, all. it was always that. There's no right. Jersey shout. So what? when you say I'm from Jersey, like, it's, it's like, okay, th- picture, picture it like this. Picture, picture this. You're in Jersey. We're in Newark at. Woo, woo. Irvington. Woo, woo. Jersey City. Irvington. <laughs> or, or, you, you know, yeah. or, uh, East Orange. Woo, woo, woo. Somerset. <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, and, but it's niggas in Somerset that's live. That's lit, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And they like. So that's kind of what New that's, that's what that's New like Jersey felt like. That was like Long Island. <laughs> yeah. Baby Long Island. Right. Shit, even yeah. Staten Island. Until Wu Tang came about, they wasn't really recognized. Yeah, Staten, Staten was Staten. Nah, he's right. He's yeah. right. Until, Staten until was Wu like its tried. own fucking borough I mean, outside of New York. Anybody only they only knew the force MDs. Some of us don't remember hip hop. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even know the Force That Force and Beast was rappers Alex, before so they were singers. Yeah, the Force and Beast. I didn't even right. know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I they, didn't know I didn't know what Staten Island was till Wu Tang came out. Remember, remember Daytona five five hundred or five thousand? Yeah, five hundred. The dudes who were singing on the beginning? Yeah. It's Force and Bees. Oh, I thought that was a Delphonics. Mm-hmm. No, I'm pretty, sure the, the I'm pretty sure that's the Force and Beast. I, I could yeah. be wrong. Don't no. But I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure we that. We are the G-O-Ds. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that was the okay. force. Of, right. force of I, think it's, I think it's a, it's a pride thing, too, with New York. Us being a creative shit and us being like we want to protect what we created. We don't want no, everybody to no, get No, it's just certain holders. areas. It's like... See, New York is huh? on that shit. Long I, I, like Long I, shit. How many rappers we know now came from Long Island, but before it was... I'm from Brooklyn. Yes. That is true. <laughs> you know that is true. Yeah, yeah that I'm from Brooklyn. There's a lot of rappers from Long Island that claim. They had a grandmother in Harlem, so they started claiming Harlem. We, we <laughs> but they're really from Hempstead. You know what I'm saying? Time, Public Enemy was from. We thought for a long time Public Enemy was from Brooklyn after they shot that video with Spike Lee, Fight the Power. Mm, right. They shot it in the stock. Right. A lot of people thought they was from Brooklyn. I remember that. That's Long what, Island. That's what everybody do with Newark. <laughs> everybody, nah. everybody from the bricks. Yeah. <laughs> no, you not. Nah. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you from Plainfield? Nah. <laughs> I, I mean, Dad. I, I mean, that, that's kind of tough. You from a place called Plainfield? <laughs> like, Plainfield. <laughs> ain't nothing special about you, niggas. <laughs> Plainfield. But you know, Jersey, yeah. fucking nah, Jersey, nah, nah. Jersey yeah, kicked Plain? in the door though. Like when you think about Queen Latifah, Naughty by Nature. Yeah, Red yeah. Man, I, I feel like, like no, we, we had like, a nice little run. I feel like Red Man. Queen Latifah would beg to differ with, 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 with some of these claims. No, Naughty by Nature and Queen Latifah. Red Man. You don't feel like Red Man would be after like them. Yeah. After them. After right. them. Right. I think I think I think if you're talking about who put Jersey on the map as far as just that was concerned, Latifah and Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Tretch was nicer Wait, than everybody. Nah, but b- before before Naughty by Nature, Apache. Rest in peace, Apache. Oh, rest in peace, Apache. Apache. Yeah. Rest in peace, Apache. Apache. Rest in rest peace, Apache. Rest in peace, Well, you just like like him uh, shit before Apache. Like him, Shabazz, like right. him, like fl- put flavor unit. Right right. Right right, 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 right. But right. that's again, we associate that with Latifah. Right. And when it came feet? and when it came to mm-hmm. when it came to making commercial hits that everybody had to stop and listen to, that yeah. was Naughty. Naughty yeah. was the ones coming out with joints that everybody and then right. and then, then they started nicknaming parts of Jersey. Mm-hmm. Now it was Ill Town. Ill Town, Naughtyville. Yep. The, now they start North. naming areas. It's like, oh. well, North always been Brick City because that was just mm. the city of projects. Right. It was yeah. just it was just projects from one end to the next. I found that oh. out the hard way. Oh yeah. yeah? I went to Shabazz. Somebody oh, threw so a brick you, over your head. Oh wow! Shabazz. Somebody, oh, so you somebody know. smacked you with a brick maker. Oh, oh Shabazz! Oh, no, I got <laughs> Shabazz at uh, school. Yeah. Oh. So I, it's first time I ever got jumped. First time I my ever mother got went to Shabazz. What grade was that? You don't remember, you got jumped. <laughs> was that bad? That's a lot crazy. of crew oh, no, got jumped. No, it, was, it, was, it was pretty bad. It Shabazz was, was bad. like a high school? Yeah. Uh, uh, a a, a lot of school. people got jumped in a junior, junior high school. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't alone. <laughs> was getting, things get jumped every day. Dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, trust me. You, nah, you. My, that was my the first yeah. time I ever got jumped out of nowhere by niggas I did not know for no reason whatsoever. Happened in Jersey. I, yeah, was the arcade. I, mean. I was at the arcade downtown on off Broad Street. Yes. Mm, I was you had at the, the arcade. On, didn't you? Of course. 
Sitting there playing. <laughs> and that was like the. That was, see him coming. That was like the car. Oh, no, they introduced the themselves. <laughs> they introduced themselves before it happened. Dude tapped me and turned me around and said, Why you jumped my cousin? Smacked his head <laughs> off. I said, I'm, I know nothing. And I don't know these dudes. Anytime I ever threw hands, it was with somebody I knew or yeah. somebody I was affiliated or something. Something happened. He turned me, why you jumped my cousin? Smacked his hand off. I don't even know your fucking cousin. He did like this. I jumped back, put my hands up like, nigga, try it. Right from the corner. His man was right bing, here. Bing, bing. Bow. Damn. Right in the jaw. I saw a star. St- turn around, swung. He was nowhere in sight. The first dude, bang, yeah. he hit me. Now I got two of them. I'm, I put my back to the machine and I'm like trying to figure out who I'm going to hit first. A dude right from across comes right. <clears throat> uh. Saw it coming, couldn't even move. Bang, my head hit the machine. I was like seeing stars. They start like throwing little punches and then they ran. And I went, chased after curl? them Did like an curl? idiot. And he said, take your ass back to New York. <laughs> <laughs> take your ass back to New York, nigga. This Jersey. Jersey, nigga. Nigga had a Queens book bag on. Yo. Nigga had a Queens book bag on in the wrong hood. A Queens gym sport. He said, you wake up Queens. New York ain't so oh, tough now, huh? No, no, no. I wanted to. I wanted to go home. I was like, pussy ass thing. Took three of you bitch ass. I was, I was. I was heated. That's the first time? I went back I went back to that arcade every day for like two weeks with a couple of steak knives. I was hoping. Well, you talking about the arcade. We we talking like late 80s, early 90s, late 80s. Yeah, Yeah, that era. Late early 90s. Yeah. That was happening everywhere, man. Facts. That was my my first thing. Every time I got jumped, it was seven the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. That's right. Just I'm going to another serious. school from another borough, you getting jumped. I went to school in Harlem, getting kicked out of school in Brooklyn, and I got jumped. Just from being from Brooklyn. Yeah, Jersey. Oh, that no, it got crazy when they when they tore the projects down and everybody had to like Migrate move out. around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's when it got real, real crazy. crazy. Cause yeah. now you neighbors with the ops for real, for real. And and it's so crazy, like geographically, like this street is in a death, you know, in a yeah. death defying war with this street. Wait, and now they just. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it would get crazy. Carjacking and jumping. Now, I was about to say, that was the that was around the, the, the carjacking. Huh? But the whole North is one big family, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like some way down the line, everyone's related. Well, yep. Newark, Newark wow. reminds me of Harlem. It really yeah, is like true. some mm-hmm. neighborhood shit. Like you yeah. don't go there to hang out unless you already know somebody. So you go because right. you, everybody there know. And when you an uh, unfamiliar face, yeah, that's how. I, I, but I had to find that out. Like I said, the hard way. Mm. That shit was awful. But that's Newark. Like and, 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 Newark and, is, and be careful. And be careful. Newark is different now. Newark is different now. I'll be out there, and y'all know me. Man, <laughs> the platform, and it's all love, man. I still got love. I still got love. <laughs> birth, birth some of the best MCs. Like the culture's always been crazy, crazily represented out Just, there. Musicians, period. Yeah. So going back to Sarah Vaughn and, and Ice T from North. Yeah. So yeah, we claiming North? you Ice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ice T from North. Yeah. Yeah. Ice T. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Colors. Ice, I know yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah, I know she's mm-hmm. from there. Brick. Before he went out there, he was yeah. Yo. It's a oh, lot of Oh, you mean he was curse. born out there? He was in like... I believe, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. I was about to say. That's like Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Brooklyn, but Tupac. went to the South. But there's, a, but there's a statue of him in Chicago. Yeah. That is what it is. Mm. I okay. still love it. All right, so... Yeah, we just I mean, the, the, let's follow, let's follow, <laughs> let's follow <laughs> the deals. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Das Effects. Okay. So, so, so from the start, wait. And guess what? Before Das Effects, I was running around with Flavor Unit. Oh, I was running shit. around with Flavor Unit before Das Effects. Right. Okay. I'm gonna tell. All right. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. Flavor Unit. I, I was like a youngin in Flavor Unit though. This this was me just running around, running, uh, chasing Latifah around. But yeah. the ruler Lord Ramsey was my manager right. at the time. It was, th- and that's how I got with my partner. My partner was also working with him. He's the one that put us together. together. Okay. So that's how we became Twice the Flavor from twice Flavor the Unit. Flavor. Huh. Oh. So from Flavor Unit to Das Effects. Production deal basically. I, wait, what was my, oh my God, my rap name. My first rap name was like Baby Jam or something. 
Once I got to Das Effects, it was Rai right, Rai, right, Rai right, right, Diggity. Yes, now I'm still with Twice the Flavor with Das Effects. Right. Now, we leave Das Effects. Uh, she and I separate. Um, Blitz separates from Das nice. Effects. Right. Now, we're together, my, uh, my manager and I, and we start beating the street. Um, I become a part of the Lyricist Lounge circuit. Mm. And that's that's where I really like yeah. got my boot camp training yeah. in because it's mm -hmm. like now I'm going up every night against most deaf, Tyler Kwali, Common, Pharaoh Munch, uh, Lord wow. have mercy, mercy. that's our yeah. Lord, uh, Shabam Sadiq, like yeah. not, not Bahama D. Uh, shout out to Shabam, uh, uh, that's how Foxy Foxy was a, a little 14 year old uh, snot nose running around in there, wow. barring, barring. And um, wow. so this is who this is this is who I'm sparring with now yeah. on stage every day. Right. So is this as a member of the Outsiders? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. What year was this around? This is this is before I get my deal. So we're talking 90, 93. Okay. Between ninety three and ninety five is when I'm on my solo. Please listen to my demo track. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it was 96 <clears throat> that I got pregnant. And then I really started going hard. Like I was I was doing I was doing Maria uh Maria Davis, Davis. at, at uh mm. shout out to Maria Davis. Yeah, shout yeah. Her out. Um I was doing that shit every Wednesday, stomach just growing, 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 growing. I did that shit every Wednesday, my Set. entire pregnancy. So you were eight, eight months. I got to eight months of One pregnancy. Stage. I got to eight months of pregnancy. So I originally meet Q-Tip in a in a studio session. It was a Young Z studio session, mm -hmm. and at the time, um, you know, I'm way I'm big pregnant. Um, so Q-Tip and I are sitting in the non-smoking section, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I just turned to him and was like, "Yo, I got 30 days to get a record deal before I had this baby," and he was like. Oh, word? You got bars? I'll sign you. You got a demo? I'm like, hell yeah. Um, that was like a weekend. So that Monday, had the demo FedExed overnighted or whatever it was at that, mm -hmm. <laughs> was at that time. Um, that demo was at his desk Monday morning. And that weekend, I was headlining a Lyricist Lounge showcase that was going to be hosted by Common. At mm -hmm. eight months? At eight months. She I was the headliner playing. at eight months. Y'all think y'all out there grinding? <laughs> Man, no excuses. Y'all really think y'all out there grinding? <laughs> no excuses. Yeah. Sure you are. Sheesh. Sure you are. And, wow. oh God, and, and mind you, I don't, so I'm headlining, so I don't go on till three in the morning. My head and sweated out. I'm just pregnant. I'm just, I'm miserable. Uh. And, like, <laughs> and then he like, Ben, thank you so much. Just please bear with us. Please bear with us. Cause I had, like, I was coming, once I hit him with the tight, like tight always shut. Everything down. Sh shut shit down. So right. it was like, you gotta go last. You gotta go last. I Like I had the, the ill ski beat shit. Like he was like, you gotta go last. And um, and uh, yeah, I did that shit. My my maternity hip hop outfit was a was a Carhartt jumpsuit. That was my, <laughs> that was like my that was my I'm getting fresh right. for the stage, right. but I'm pregnant. <laughs> that sounds adorable. Yo, <laughs> I, I can't even I can't even. Yes, I had the the Dicky and the Carhartt jumpsuit. How supportive was your child's father slash hubby? At, in these times like he's seeing yeah. oh right he, he was right i mean he was right there i mean there was a point where you know i couldn't come outside at like once i got to the point where like i was due any day i had mm -hmm. to like kind of fall back but right. no shit he like shit i need her to get as much money as she could get too you know <laughs> like he he wasn't you know he was supportive in in that way we plus we you know we was crew it's like yeah, i yeah. you know i win you win you win i win like right. whatever mm -hmm. How whatever we could do to help each other's situation, like we got to do that. And yeah, we you know, <laughs> so, yeah. she she coming. <laughs> so yeah, your demo it. was on Q Tip's table mm -hmm. overnight. Mm -hmm. Were you able to get the deal before you dropped your child? So 
demo on his desk that Monday. Mm. Uh, he comes to the Lyricist Lounge show that I headlined that weekend. He's blown away, like, oh my God, I've never <laughs> seen anything like this. Eight months pregnant in a dicky jumpsuit with those bars. <laughs> tight. Now, you know how yeah, tight go. Yeah, like, yeah. those bars were yeah. in 93. That was some special shit to be saying. Right. <laughs> Tighter than three or more heads in the CRX. Uh, like, I was going crazy. <laughs> and, uh, he. Took me to Electra, probably the following, probably the following week. Mm -hmm. I had a whole. Now, I had already did the song with the Fugees. I did the Fuji song, and we shot that video when I was about four months pregnant. Cowboys, right? Yeah, Good. Cowboys. You can't yeah. really tell that I'm pregnant in nah, the video because I was I was so skinny that my me being pregnant just meant like I, now I just got a body. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't, it, don't, it don't look like you know what I'm saying. Right, Cause I was right. so skinny before that, and shit, and after that, like as soon as I had the baby, it just, just gone. Right. But you couldn't really tell I was pregnant in that video, but I was very pregnant in that video. Right. About yeah, like I was about four or five months stage. So uh, I go in the office with Tip, and. I had this whole little spiel ready to lay out. You know, this is who I am and this is what I represent. This is what I plan to bring to the table. You know, right, right, you had right. to have your little, your little artist, you know, speech yeah. ready to go. Sylvia comes in the, the, the meeting. She might have been like an hour late. She came in there. She like, you was on that Fuji song, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and uh, go on and draw the papers up, Tip. All right, see y'all later. I gotta go. And left. <laughs> so I was stunned. Sylvia like, Road. <laughs> shouts out Sylvia Road. Yeah. I was in shock. Like, I walk, I remember walking out the office like, does that mean I have a deal? Like, I had to turn mm -hmm. the tip like, does that mean I have a deal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a record deal? Oh, y'all got a record deal? Oh, y'all got a record deal? <laughs> and see, in those days... All, getting a record deal only meant one thing. I'm about to get some money. money. I'm about to get that out of Like, fuck the terms and conditions of the deal. You just know you got a big Amazing. ass signing bonus right. on the way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I got that signing bonus the week I gave birth. Wow. Like, wow. he was able to expedite the situation. Shout out to Tip, man. Uh, shout out to Tip for that. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, fire. It's such uh, a it's such a vibrant thing. The, 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 yeah, that was that was yo, that, 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 that was the first time I ever had anything more than three digits in my, uh, my well no four four digits I was like four like that was my first time I ever had that much money like yo when I <laughs> when I cashed I took like when it. I, I did good. My my managers did good by me. Mm -hmm. They got me the business manager that made it impossible for me to like fuck up my life. Like he got me the secure uh, credit, credit card. card to build mm -hmm. up my credit. He you know he got me like the the mutual fund stuff. Mm -hmm. But I did blow now. I you know I did do a little bit of blowing. I did take. I took up. <laughs> I took about half of it out in cash and I went home and I just, I put it under my pillow and I turned the lights out and I just <laughs> laid on it. I just laid on it. Yeah. And look, and the outside is on their way to my house. Look, I can't, I heard the doorbell ring. Hey, Mrs. Fisher. Hey, Mrs. Fisher. It was like them saying hello to my parents. were like, oh no, they coming. <laughs> I was in the dark. <laughs> Put money under the pillow. I'm like, oh god, they're here. <laughs> but, wow. You know, good times, good, good times. times. But good um, time. yeah, that happened. I, hey, Q-tip saved my life a second time. I don't even know if he noticed. So this one, I knew I had blew through my advance. I went to the beauty supply store to get myself a Bevlin iron and my car declined. I'm like, oh shit, I'm broke. Oh shit. So I, ain't even, in this shit. I ain't even start the album yet. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. You're so, just spinning. so wow. 
So I went home that day. I'm like, I'm sitting at home. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta. I was scared to call Tip and ask for more money because it was only like a matter of weeks. It was only a couple weeks. I Damn. was like, maybe a month, maybe a month, oh. maybe a month. So maybe, maybe. No. Uh, <laughs> Yo, can I just, Maybe can I, can I just had a baby in her defense? I did, uh, yeah, true, I did just true. have a baby. Right. I, went, I went crazy with the baby. Polo yeah, you had a baby Ferrari. Polo. Like, like I, I Ferrari crib. In the hood, all the stuff from different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> she had oh, all of that. Oh, Little train going through the crib. <laughs> right. oh, you know, you you know what my big splurge on myself was? I went to the Timberland outlet in Reading and bought. Uh, constructs in every color. That was oh, that wow. was that was my go out. In Welcome, to New, Welcome, to, <laughs> Welcome, to, Welcome New to New Jersey. Welcome to New Jersey. Welcome to New Jersey. I had the tan. I had the cream. I had the olive. I had the knit. Yo, I had some perforated olive shits that I still ain't yo, seen to this day. Yo, all, all, <laughs> that was the first big. All purchase. the out of town niggas gonna have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have fun. Tim's, I knew it. But yeah, but they blame that on New York. She's from New Jersey, Jersey though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's from Jersey. Quiet. <laughs> I I spent I must have spent I must have spent about four five thousand dollars on Timberlands wow. <laughs> in red in Reading, Pennsylvania. I had every color. In I had, Reading, how you at the outlet? I was at the, and you still spent like five grand because I got every color. Every wow, color they had. It was like gray, black, the brown, the leather, the beef and the red. It was like a hundred dollars though. That's 50 joints. Yo, I, I was close. Was it just for you or was it for other people I, too? I, I had at least about 30 pay attempts. All oh, constructs. <laughs> just all like, constructs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, 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 was my, that, that was my go out and, oh shit, I got money now. That yeah. was my first big purchase. I bought mm. constructs in every yeah, Yo, to this day, I still ain't seen them olive green joints with the, they had like some perforated holes in them and shit. Those shit was hard. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> Those shit was hard. <laughs> you know, no, a couple of them Tim's wasn't, was more than a hundred. Them, them perfs, I might have paid like two something for them, but yeah. <laughs> Not a I, like, I Not regret a nothing. I, I regret up, nothing. So, 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 like, so now, <laughs> So now <laughs> I gotta sell this footage to Timberland. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsorship. <laughs> so now I gotta call Tip and tell him I need more money. I was so scared because it was like it it wasn't even it was damn near like a month. I'm like, yo, I'm about to look crazy. I just blew through like 50 beans. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yo, on my father. Before I could pick up the phone, before I could, I picked up, before I could dial his number, he rang my line and was like, yeah. <clears throat> so I was just having a talk with the accountant and we were trying to come up with like a monthly uh, living expense budget for you. How, how much you think, uh, you know, how much you think you spend a month? Like how much you think you need for a month? Like 1500 2 G's, $2,500? i am on the phone like, like 50. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Yeah, so all, 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 I could, all I could come out of my mouth was yes. <laughs> he's like, all right, well, tomorrow's, uh, he's like, tomorrow's Friday. They're going to be closed early. But if you can get there by um, 1.30, we'll, we'll, we'll cut you the, you know, we'll cut you this month's expense. And then from, you know, from, from here on now, um, every first of the month, you can, uh, you can go up to the account and get you. Wow. Yo, I hung up that phone. I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, crazy. I had the phone in my hand. They probably they were, stopped your car. They was get, like, oh, she's wilding. So getting shut ready it down. to call this. Yeah. Shut it down. <laughs> no, but that, no, that was me not having no money. That was like the car declining. That was like, I was done. Because see, you, I wasn't checking the account, like how much money I got. You know, right, when, right, right. when you... Go from broke to that. It, it seemed like, oh, I could do what, this all day. What about the pillow? What happened to the pillow? <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Deep sigh. Uh, 
Let me see how many Tims I got. Now, I don't, uh, really, my daughter. It was I. I, yeah. I definitely spent a lot uh, of unnecessary. First I baby, was, first child. Baby so. Polo, baby Dior, mm. just all that. Baby Jordan. At, at the zero to three month stage, that three to six. That she outgrew in no yeah, time. Yeah, facts. What? Facts. None Man, of nothing. it is worth anything. What? I just say, yo, my son ain't gonna wear nothing but Jordans. And then lose my mind walking him to school, watching him kick every rock, splashing every <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. How is he supposed to? <laughs> he didn't know that. As you know a new parent, parent, you either. do that, though. As a, new, as a new parent, that's what you do. I right. mean, Meanwhile, you, know, you get him some Batman kicks. And he yeah, jumps. he's happy. He's like, well, who, I don't even know this guy. Like, Batman. <laughs> he loved that shit. <laughs> so, I learned that lesson quick. So, so now you're at Electra. Now I'm at Electra. And you, you start so, prepping to work on your album? So this is 96 that I signed at Electra. Now, mm. Q-Tip has always been one of my favorite producers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tribe Called Quest has always been my favorite group. Mm. Uh, I was such a fan of, of Tip and, and Tribe that I was trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, I want beats from you. That like now I'm signed to you. I want beats from you. We wasn't really, we wasn't really gelling creatively. I could not figure out for the life of me why. I'm like, how is this, you know, why am I not liking this music that we're making together? Mm -hmm. It's like, you're my favorite producer. I know I can rhyme. What's 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 happening here? Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't until later in life that I learned that, you know what, things that work for other artists don't necessarily work for you. Right. I just could not figure that right. out. No, nah, that's real. I'm like, mm -hmm. I love Tribe Called Quest. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. why can't I, why am I not? This is dope, I'm dope. Why, why am I not hitting working? the pockets? Right, right it's just I, like we weren't. You just needed some pause, some harder. At, we, and we get into that, we, right. gonna, we gonna get to that. But, and another thing that was going on too that I wasn't aware of until later, Tribe was in the process of splitting up. They mm. was on the outs. Mm. So, you know, Tim he wasn't all the way there right. for you. He, yeah, he wasn't, yeah, mentally he wasn't all the way there. Right. And, mm -hmm. and he also had a big house fire. I remember him having yeah. a huge house fire, losing everything. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, yeah. you're sitting there, you're, you know, if you're a Q-tip and you just lost you know, your entire everything, yeah. and you got your, yo, what's up with my beats, nigga? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> but you, you don't even have your sample, you know, your mm -hmm. whole, where you make the magic just went up in flames. Q-Tip had a house fire. Yeah. Yes. He was with Angie Martinez at the time. The had a flood. He had a flood, yup. Yeah. yeah. And these are some of the greatest yeah, there producers. There was somebody that couldn't get beats from these guys that was like, all right, I'm going to show you this. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, so there's, there's got to be a connection. Somebody you know, cursed right him. That way. But continue. Um, yep, he had a house fire. And at that point, like, he just really wasn't, you know, wasn't focused on the mission. And I know I was driving him crazy because I was hungry. Like, I'm still the same person that's walking around that. Like, I'm still in that frame of mind. So I'm blowing, yo, what's up my album? What's up my album? And I'm sure at some point he had a conversation with Buster because Buster was putting together Flip Mode Flip Squad. Mode. Right. And I know he had a conversation with Bus, like, yo, I got this female. She's so dope. She is driving me up a fucking wall. <laughs> like, it's, you know, I think she would be a great fit for you. I think she matches your energy. Right. And, and uh, so now I'm rocking with Busta. And what was, what was dope about that, I, here, here, here comes the third tip save. Instead of me getting dropped, and getting re-signed, they were able to just kind of like... Combine. Yeah, right. they were able to just kind of slide me right. into the hands of Buster without me losing my deal or, yeah. or you I'm know, feel, having, feeling that devastation having, yeah, having yeah. to unsign and re-sign. Mm -hmm. And all the, 
all the terms and conditions of my deal was still uh, in mm. place. So I was still able to get that. So, okay, go through whatever legal stuff y'all got to go through. I'm still showing up to the accounting office at the firm. <laughs> right. And, oh, right, right. I bet you my car won't decline again. <laughs> and so now, so now I'm getting on Buster Durr. So now I'm showing up to... We wait, still, wait, time out. What was that initial meeting like yeah, with you yeah. and Buster? Like, how did y'all even meet? So like, the, the very meet. first time I met Buster, hi. A young Z session. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's on a... And I actually... Bust, I've heard Busta tell the story of going around studios too, seeing who was, was working. Solo joint. And just, you know... Yeah. And that, and now now you on a joint with him. Right. He showed up in a young Z session that uh, Z was having with KRS-One. Mm. KRS-One did a hook for Z. And Buster is on that intro, so that was that was my first time meeting Buster, but but it wasn't a significant enough meeting. Like at that, like I was somebody's girl, woman in that session. I wasn't right. all hey, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my next time ha- interacting with Buster, my manager Blitz was in the studio with him. And he played him, he played Busta, one of my ski songs, one of my uh, demos from Ski. I was asleep and I was pregnant when Busta called me and was like, uh, he like, yo, yo, you got bars, shorty. I didn't think it was Busta Rhymes. Like, I, my phone rings and it's Busta Rhymes. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here. Busta. <laughs> right. Bust the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm asleep, nigga. <laughs> and my manager called me all, uh, Blitz called me back all scared, like, yo, you just hung up on Busta Rhymes. I'm like, my bad. I mean, I ain't no. Like, <laughs> you just told me he was going to call. Yeah, you got to get your heads up. Like, I'm good. I'm thinking you playing. You prank calling. Yeah, right. some. We we do that. We was doing that. Just me and my partner. I'm like the way we was pranking people. I mean, but we weren't pranking. We were actively right. searching. Right. <laughs> For a record deal. Yeah. We, we let the record reflect. We were not pranking. <laughs> we were, as they say, going door to door, filling out applications. <laughs> But um, so that was like, that was like our first time at really communicating. And so now fast forward to me showing up to his studio sessions. Cause what was he recording in the first studio session you went to with him? Do you um, remember? Maybe, put your hands where my eyes can see. That's crazy. Wow. I know it was, so, so okay, crazy. so when I first, when I first, first started showing up, it was Rampage album was still out. Well, like Wild for the Night was yeah, like right, right, was, right. was 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 yeah. ringing off, um, and he was in the process of working on When Disaster Strikes. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And my first like time getting on a record with them was the Crew song We Could Take It Outside, right, right. which is mm-hmm. on which is on that yeah, album, right, right. and and. Uh, so mind you now, I'm showing up to the studio every day. Yo, nigga, my mom coming out. Mom coming out. Mom coming out. <laughs> you know, I'm just bully footing my way into the situation. Um, now there was a, there was a, there was. I was told that there was a pecking order. Like, <laughs> okay, new girl, this is how it goes. <laughs> Lord have mercy, rampant. You know, there was, mm-hmm, there right. were people the that were there before, before me. You. Right. Right. you know, respectfully, and I'm like. Yeah, but, but. but I'm nicer than all of this. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> I mean, this was my this. That was my. So you felt that was my yeah. machine. That was my shit. That right. was my shit. And it, you know, it was always love. It wasn't like, you know, I never, I never wanted to do anything that you know embarrass my brothers or nothing like that. But mm-hmm. I, I just always let it be known, like I'm, I'm, I'm about to smoke you on this record. <laughs> yeah. Like that was that was my <laughs> attitude. That right. was my, you know, I kind of. I I learned I learned studio etiquette with flip mode. I didn't have studio etiquette coming from the outside. <laughs> what, what, what was it? Yeah, studio etiquette. 
that's the that's real Stu- thing. Studio thing. etiquette is, it's you know, thing. being respectful. If somebody might take a little longer than you to write their verse, you know, mm-hmm. be respectful. Right, you're, hey, you're, damn, you still writing? Like, you know. <laughs> oh, like, my yo, God. I was, oh, you should I was, say. <laughs> you should say. <laughs> you should say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. It's get, get every understanding that every artist has their process. Oh, creative creative process. Yeah. And yeah. at the end of the day, it was about being a team. See, I, I really learned like team sport with flip mode. It's like, okay, we all have to do our best to compliment each other on yeah. it's at the end of the day, it's about the song. It's not about who got the nicest verse, Mrs. Yeah. Outsiders. It's not about who <laughs> <laughs> that's but, the, but, that's what the, I mean I get it. I get it. But that's what type of time I was on. Right. I I came from a, a place where hey the song could be 14 minutes long. We all trying to get our shit off. Nobody's caring about song structure. Or did, right. did, did the yeah. record even have a hook? Was right. the hook catchy? <laughs> was it commercially viable? Right. We ain't care about none of that shit. We just right. all wanted to have the nicest verse. verse. So right. now now coming into flip mode it's like okay we might all have to just do eight bars so the song could be a radio friendly time yeah. eight bars what the bad oh, what is that? Yeah. oh yeah i used i used to be going nuts but you know it was that you know it was that experience that made me more of a you know i'm i'm right. curious team on, player. Before, before you get there let's take a five minute break this hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve you heard.